Hey y'all, um, my name is Jay, and um, today we're on a little field trip in our local grocery store. We're gonna talk about how eating healthy corresponds to heart health, and I'm really, really excited because this is actually the first step in our podcast. Woo! That um, will be popping off later this month. Um, I'm with my partner, he's behind the camera. Can't see me. You'll see him soon. <laughs> Mr. Malcolm, um, and the whole premise of our podcast is bringing awareness to mental health and physical health um, within the black community. So um, we're gonna do a little trip. We're gonna talk about the importance of staying on the outside. And then next week, we're gonna take some of the ingredients that we got this week and make a whole meal out of them. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. But actually, I want Malcolm to introduce himself. So we're gonna switch it around <laughs> so you know who your hosts are. So go ahead, sir. So what's up, y'all? I am Malcolm, and we're going to be doing this podcast. Um, stay tuned. Episode one, season one is coming soon. We in the grocery store. We about to do a field trip. Let's go. And just the words of wise, I know a lot of us here stuff. It should be organic and blah, blah, blah. There really is no difference between organic and regular vegetables. Keep that in mind. So you don't have to spend $100,000 on your vegetables as long as it's fresh. If you can't do fresh, do frozen. So we're gonna get some kale. And you wanna pick something that's nice and fresh and leafy. Yeah, this bunch looks pretty good. Yeah, it's nice and robust. We're gonna get a little bag over here. And what we're gonna use the kale for is it's actually gonna go in our sauce for the chicken farm. Okay. So um, Interesting. I'm all about sneaking vegetables into different things. So um, we're gonna sneak some kale into what we're making. That's kale, y'all. Kale. First things first. First things first. So for our noodles, we're gonna use um, spaghetti squash, which I already have at home. Um, Let's get into it. And I know it looks intimidating, and it can be when it comes to cooking it, but um, we'll go into it next week. But spaghetti squash is actually low in carbs, and it's low in fat, and it's actually really good for you. And the awesome thing about spaghetti squash is that it'll taste like whatever you make it as. So we're gonna put a lot of flavor into it next week, but that is actually gonna be our noodle. Now, it and it looks just like spaghetti too, hence why they call it spaghetti squash. Um, a lot of grocery stores now actually sell it already cut, so all you have to do is roast it. So um, that's actually the kind that we're gonna have next week. So let's keep it moving. All the lovely fresh fruits and veggies. Now, onions. We know we need those. Gotta have a good onion. For any Italian type meal. So I like to do a combination of a sweet onion and then just a yellow, a regular yellow white onion. It provides a really great flavor to the sauce. And guess what y'all, we're gonna make our sauce from scratch next week. Scratch. From scratch. We're not gonna use that bottled stuff. None of that is coming fresh from our own kitchen. So with that being said, we're gonna flip it around. We need tomatoes. So there's like a gajillion and 10,000 types of tomatoes. As you can see, I like me. to use, because they get the best flavor. Be following the chef, y'all. <laughs> Aroma tomato. And that's because it's easier to cut. Okay. And it's a little bit firmer. It has a really good um, flavor me, to it. Let me feel that. Let me feel. It, it is a little firm. Not really a tomato fan, but you know. But when you dice them up real good, they're really awesome. And actually, we're only gonna use like one or two of these. The rest we're gonna use, I'm gonna show you what our secret ingredient is. So. More secrets, stay tuned. We're gonna get just two of these. Two of these. So, so y'all, are y'all paying attention? Cause we dropping a lot of jewels on you. I know it's a lot. <laughs> pay attention. It is a lot. It's a lot to intake. Just, just a little bit, just a little bit, but it's, it's well worth it to uh, live a little bit longer, so to speak. 
And I don't know if you guys know, but you know, heart disease is the number one killer for most African Americans. So we need to work twice as hard to get our numbers lowered, twice as hard to keep them low, and twice as hard to prevent heart attack and stroke. Woo! It's a lot. It's a lot. That was a mouthful. But it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. So I'm going to show you my shortcut when it comes to garlic. Okay. Because I hate peeling it and cutting it. So. This is the best product ever. It's already minced and it provides the best garlic flavor in any dish. So I have about two jars of this already at home. So this is what we're gonna use to provide flavor in our dish next week. Okay, y'all see that? It's minced garlic. You can From already, Spice World. Spice World. Yeah. You can already get it. Already get it. So moving on. Where my favorite section? <laughs> uh oh, this is the, the bread section. Mm -hmm. Pastry. Pastry. Anything that makes you fluffy. Yes. We might have to come back later. <laughs> We're gonna have to come back. We don't want to get y'all distracted. Not from our mission today. <laughs> now, I know I talked about staying on that outside, but I'm gonna show you guys the spices and stuff are, of course, in the middle, and That's I know. Cool when we talk about eating healthy it gets overwhelming because you're like god it's expensive i can't afford it and you can't afford it um we just take little shortcuts so we're going to go down this aisle our canned uh tomato aisle and our spices okay and this is almost going to wrap up our ingredients now uh, most doctors will say you stay away from things that are canned but I found a really great brand of canned tomatoes. Um, they are diced with no salt added, and that's really, really important. And so we're gonna use these as part of our sauce next week with the fresh tomatoes. We're not adding any additional sodium, and sodium is a pretty huge contributor of high blood pressure that a lot of us have, and we don't know that we have it. Absolutely. Um, because it's a silent killer as well. So we're gonna get one can of our no salt added diced tomatoes and these are the petite ones so it'll stretch a little bit further okay y'all see it no salt no salt. they have ones with salt you want to get the no salt yeah also you probably want to check the dates on that because the yes. shelf life is not as long because they don't add salt yep which is a preservative yeah so just be mindful of that when you out here shopping so um I also have an autoimmune disease. So um, I try to avoid gluten a lot because it causes inflammation. And so, um, but that doesn't mean I don't enjoy wheat every once in a while. Okay. But um, when it comes to making our chicken parm, everybody knows it for that nice crispy exterior that we have on it. And so I don't know who has this part here. God bless them and good night. So we're gonna use um, a nice mixture of a breadcrumb, which I have these at home, and a little bit of a flour. And you want to use just like an all-purpose flour. So I use this one just because I use it for everything when I bake. And we'll go over the process, but that combination of both the breadcrumb and the flour gives you a lot of crispiness um, on important. your chicken. That is important. If you don't that. have that crispy chicken, put that chicken back. Exactly. You gotta Not have the crispy on the chicken. Okay. This is my other favorite section. Okay. Now this is what this is what this is what I know something about right here. I like the, you know what I mean. I like the. This is where I'm at with it. Now you we see? all love this section. And you know what I mean. And it can be overwhelming, but it you know is because I will put all this on something. You know what I mean. I be I be all into it. Um, so, so you can see um, once again staying either minimal sodium or staying away from but we like to use sea salt because a little bit goes a longer way okay um so we got the, the fresh the fresh sea salt up top grinding that in the big grab. container which lasts a really long time and the fresh black you know what i mean yeah we want to use the black pepper you never had fresh cracked black pepper to get into you don't know what you're missing at all it. um we also like to use 
um, a little bit of the parsley flakes. Okay. Um, some oregano. All right. That's very essential. Um, paprika is a really good friend of ours. Yeah, I love, love that. And paprika gives it a nice smokiness. Yes. And it really enhances the flavor. With that little, uh, that little kick on the back end, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? You gotta have that little. Now, little known fact in Italian cooking, rosemary is used. So we're gonna toss a little bit of that in there. I didn't know that, y'all. Yeah, so, you know, throw a little rosemary uh -oh. in there. I'm learning something. I got my, my notepad out. <laughs> and then I'm trying, I don't see it. They might be out of it. But we use a little bit of basil. And um, sometimes I use fresh. Sometimes I use the dried. But it's okay to use dried seasonings. They work just as good as um, the fresh ones. Oh, is that... Yeah, that's all right. We know they exist somewhere in this paradigm. It's, it's somewhere over here. Somewhere we just over can't here. find it We right can't now. find it today. But that's no, here it is right oh, here. Oh, basil. Fresh basil. There we go. Basil leaves. You see it. Get into it. So that. we make a little mixture of that. And you just add enough to your liking. And that's pretty much how it works. Um, that's about it for my Italian seasoning that I use. Sometimes if I want to get a little fancy, I'll use a little crushed red pepper. Okay. Now, and it just, know. now, that's if you can handle a little heat. Now, crushed red pepper definitely setting the party off right. It does. Now, we're going to scoot down just a little bit. What are we scooting? The olive serves as the base of our sauce. Okay. And so, we saute the onions in that before we add in the tomatoes and the garlic. So, we do a really good olive oil, which I've got at home. It doesn't matter which one. Just any brand. Any brand. So but. I use the Kroger brand. It's pretty good. My number two favorite, I will say, is the Filippo. And number three, I like the Bertoli because we're on a budget. We want to make sure everybody feels included. Okay. Now my other secret ingredients. Now don't be out here getting the church, the church, <laughs> the anointed olive oil. Now we're not nah. trying to. We're trying to cook. We're trying to cook. We ain't trying to. We ain't trying to save nobody. Okay. Is Good. um balsamic vinegar. Now this got a distinct taste. A so, very distinct taste. That's why we don't put a lot in there. Okay. We just put one or two dashes, but it right. helps to kind of thin out that sauce a little bit. Alright. Um, but it also helps to heal your gut. Vinegar is really, really good for gut health. I do like vinegar. So we I'm put a just, just a little bit in there. I'm so, a vinegar guy, so um, you know. Word to the wise, if you're building your pantry, you want to have a little bit of red wine vinegar, a little bit of balsamic. Of course, you know your regular vinegar for everything else. Yes. Apple cider vinegar and even seasoned rice wine vinegar is really good to have. Okay. So, you so get into your vinegars. Get into your vinegars. Y'all see it. You know what I mean? Not update, just for salad dressing. Update your pantry. Get into your vinegars. Now, I know y'all know what this is. All y'all pig feet eaters mm -hmm. down here. And greens. <laughs> Can't, if you cooking collards and you ain't got that in it, what well, well that that there? What, I don't what are you want cooking? it. What are you I don't want it. Don't bring it to me. There you go. It better have some crushed red pepper in it too. Just, just a few. Just a little bit. Just a, on that back end. Yeah. Uh, oh. So our last little piece, which I've already picked this up, but we're gonna go with the important piece. The, the most important piece, the, the star piece. of the dish. Exactly. Is it's what? The chicken. It's the chicken. Oh. Now, we are in here. We have this debate about no hormones, organic, blah, 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 blah. But what's important is what's on sale. And you heard it? she said, what's important is what's on sale. So I picked up this earlier this week, just plain old Purdue chicken breast. Purdue. And you notice they're huge. So when we cook them next week, we're going to cut them in half to where it's a thinner chicken breast. Now, you can actually get the thinner fillets, yeah. but those tend to be a little bit more expensive. So get this, cut them in half, and you get more bang for your buck. Require you to do a little work. But that's all right. What? Yeah. You know, you can cut that chicken in half, invest in a mullet, you know. There you go, bang that thing out. Thing out. So got we got, talked about the chicken, we talked about the sauce, we talked about the noodles, cheese. That's the last piece. Now we're going to go over to the cheese section. Okay, and this is going to be interesting here. 
there's a lot of different varieties. Some people do Parmesan, some people do like a feta, some people do a multi-Italian blend. It really just depends on what you like. So I actually like to do a little bit of Parmesan and a little bit of feta cheese for that different bite saltiness. So we're gonna go. Now, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna just say I wasn't a feta fan until I started eating Greek food. Right. And then I was like, okay, this is, uh, this is new. We like the fat. Um, feta makes it better. I'm just saying, um, you gotta be open to try new things. You too. And I would say now feta, when you roast it in the oven on top of something, yeah. it makes a nice little layer on top. Oh, see, now I ain't never had no roasted. And that it. is probably what we will do and next it, week. It is pure form. Yep, and that is actually what we're gonna do next week with our chicken, okay. is we're gonna finish it off in the oven so the cheese will have that little crust. Stay tuned for next week, Next week. It's, it's going to be interesting. And we're going to have some guest stars. It's going to actually superstars. be like a family meal because that is the premise of our podcast is being at the family table and talking about issues that affect us as a culture. As a culture. Pushing the culture forward one healthy meal at a time. One healthy meal at a time. So we're going to, we're going to, we're about to get into these cheeses right now. Okay. So, you know, the cheese section is like a whole wall. Yeah. So you got your feta, you see. which I picked up some of that. And you want the whole fat because fat free is not going to melt. Okay. So let, let, let's, let's, so you see, it's a, like I just told y'all, it's a Greek style cheese. You see, mm -hmm. it? It's a hard cheese. It's, and that's why, and actually your hard cheeses are better for you. It's not a soft cheese, as you can see, I'm squeezing it. It also comes crumbled. Which Already, is, so you ain't gotta do the work. You ain't gotta do the work, but this is the way that I had it before. Mm -hmm. But it is pretty, you know, it's tasty. It is tasty. Um, I had some- It's got a distinct flavor to it. It does, I had some feta fries. And yeah, they had feta cheese on them and oil and vinegar, which was interesting. So, you know, get into your different cultures, try something new. Um, so, you might go to the store and you'll see like an Italian style blend or just a Parmesan. You know, the mozzarella piece. Yeah, there. which and the know. mozzarella will do that's a good melting cheese. That's typically what's on your pizza. What I picked up for next week is, and I fell in love with this. Um, it's by Sargento. It's a good melting cheese. Um, maybe it's how they shredded it, but was their aged Parmesan to put on top. Now, I'm going to tell you, I love this cheese because I love <laughs> Caesar salads. So this is one of my favorite cheeses to eat. Um, and we got extra of this because we're actually going to do a side salad next week, too, to go with our chicken. Oh, my gracious. That's uh -huh. So I love we're Caesar salad. Up. And that is my favorite, one of my favorite cheeses. So I'm very excited. Um, and we're actually going to take our Caesar salad up a notch to make it a super salad. So oh. we're really excited about that. Y'all heard it here first, a super Caesar a salad. Super Caesar Never salad. had a super Caesar salad, but. So those are our ingredients, y'all. We're going to do a chicken parm next week with a spaghetti squash and then a super Caesar salad next week. So. If you want to learn more about heart disease, as well as our podcast, make sure you tune in next week. Da, 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 da.